Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here today to do a little gulp minnow fishing. Today's the first day, it's not 94 degrees. So let's go over here and see if we can catch any fish. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of stuff has washed in here overnight. I see some bait fish over there. Yeah, maybe we can get a bite over here as soon as these waves calm down. Gulp alive, looks, tastes, feels alive. I'm gonna fish it on a realistic rig. Through the face, out the back, as straight as possible. Sometimes it's not very easy. I got a couple of pinch on sinkers, about 10 inches of leader, got a size eight hook that's tied on with a polymer knot. I've done plenty of videos on how to set up that rig. If you want to learn more about that, you can go find one of those videos. This is about a 25 cent drop shot rig. Perfect for fishing small plastics like this gulp minnow. You can just dance it near the bottom. You can cover a good amount of water as long as you keep reeling it in as you pull it towards you with a pause every now and then just in case there's something who wants to strike. That pause usually helps. Might have had a bite there, I don't know. The more weight you put on, the easier it will be to cast. Not snag proof though. This is not a snag proof kind of presentation. It's got an open hook on it. That's why you want to keep the line somewhat stiff the whole time. There's a fish, not very big, whatever it is. But you want to keep the, but yeah, you want to keep it somewhat tight the whole time to keep your hook off the bottom, especially if it's snaggy. First fish of the day, three inch bluegill. Got me all tongue tied. Uh, there's a little school of shad right there in front of me. I don't know if you can see them. I could probably catch one on a bare hook. Should I try and catch a shad and use it as live bait? Let's try it. Shall we? Got one. Vance here from Fishing with Vance. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, there's my bait. We're gonna toss that out there. See if we can't get something. Gulp minnow versus actual shad. Is that a bite or is that my shad? Fish, fish on. There we go. On an actual shad, got this long ear sunfish. It's pretty cool. Easy fella, damn it. Well, y'all saw them. I got that long ear sunfish on an actual shad. But since I don't see the school anymore, we're gonna go back to gulp minnow. If I do find that school of shad again, I might try to catch another one. But in the meantime, we'll see if we can get a bite on the gulp.
two bluegills. Let's try over here. I see a dark cloud in the water out there. I bet that's a school of shad. The only thing is, I don't see anything chasing it. I don't see any fish busting anywhere. So far, just two bluegill. Well, one sunfish and one bluegill. But yeah, two bluegill. Now I'm in the snag zone, so I gotta be super careful. Fish, down there by the log. Feels like a good one, feels like a good one. Oh yeah, compared to those other fish, this is a nice one. Yeah, good bluegill. Let's take a quick look here. Looks like a female bluegill. About seven and a half inches long. Best fish of the day right here out of three. Let's let it go. This is the Classic Man with RWF Wrestling. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. <laughs> Let's keep trying. Hopefully I won't get snagged. fish. Another good looking bluegill here. Yeah, easy. Wow. Finally a couple of nice bluegill. This one's closer to seven inches. Not quite as tall either. Let's fix up my minnow. See that? It's just barely hanging on. We're gonna hook it through some more meat and get it back down there. Trying to get up right on that log. fish. There we go. <laughs> yeah, another decent bluegill. Six incher. Got off the hook. I'm going to count it though. It hit the bank. Yeah, not a ton of action. It's been really, really hot. And today is the first mild day. So the water hasn't really adjusted. I doubt the temperature is going down. So the fish are still kind of sluggish, but I am getting a few. Yeah, here's another decent bluegill. Probably about seven inches. I've gotten enough for a couple of sandwiches anyway. Let's keep going. I'm Slim from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh man, my gulp minnow's getting pretty torn up. Let's see if we can carefully rehook it on the bottom. Yeah, we'll try it. What am I at? Six bluegill? Maybe one sunfish? 
not slaying it, but I am enjoying the good weather. As it cools off more, I'll start thinking about taking the boat out. You know, I'm cold blooded. I'm from the Chicago area. Even after living in Tennessee for like 15 years, I'm still not used to 95 degree days. Ugh. That was a bite. Got him. All right, another bluegill. Pretty nice. Good color on this one anyway. A little bit shorter than the rest, but still a good looking fish. Much more colorful, orange and green. fish. All right. Another long ear. I caught the other one on the live shad. Spontaneous catch. Yeah, good looking fish. Well, there we go. I got a handful of bluegill and sunfish today on the gulp minnow. Even one bonus fish on a live shad that I snagged impromptu and caught a fish. Anyway, not the greatest day, but I'm happy to be out here not sweating my ass off. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.